he can come and in if he wants back. to. With us, we have. And we are back. Gloria Tesh. Yeah, Gloria Tesh. Hi, Gloria. She has three published books, and she's a very young, good, beautiful young lady. She was in here earlier taking pictures with her father, and I got a kick out of her just watching her sitting there, you know, with, eh, how nice, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, well, she's very, I met her in February, and it was just a wonderful um, experience getting, and her mom was with her that day, so yeah. I've never met her dad before today, but uh, she has been writing since you were, what, 11, I think you said? Yes, nearly 11 years And ago. And you need to speak very close to the okay. mic, Gloria, because they I can't hear you. And uh, you just you just started writing one day, right? And, and she doesn't just write little things. I mean, No, how books, many pages are in that yeah, book? Yeah, you, cool. you brought a book with you? Okay, so yes. it's very thick. Well, my first novel is 800 pages. Oh, my Lord. So, I, I mean, that's J.K. <laughs> Rowling stuff, okay? Yeah, I know. So uh, where in the world... Did you get, do you get 800, pa- I was one of those kids in school, have you started writing your paper yet? No, you know, so how do you make it look like it's longer? With 800 pages, you had to do a lot of making it look like it's longer, or you had to make it longer. How in the world do you get that and keep going that long? Well, I get many ideas. Anything <clears throat> can suggest a story to me. If I hear just one sentence, that would be all I need to create a whole story. Mm-hmm. So I see these real pictures, <clears throat> and I just simply write them down. Okay. Also, so like lo- my love for fiction and fantasy um, also played a role in it. Mm-hmm. I loved reading lots of lots of books. Oh, that's so. great! That's great. And I know your mom. Your mom's from Europe, right? Isn't your mom yes, from? Yeah, she's uh, from Russia. Yeah, and and is your dad European too, or is yes, he American? Yes, he's German. Okay, so, so do you European. go over to Europe quite a lot with your family on well, occasion? I've never gone traveling yet. Yeah. So you don't. Oh, you see, will. I was going to say, well, be. she goes to Europe. She gets all these great ideas. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Well, so you that know, blows I, that out of the water. When we're discussing it out there, you know, like you said, you hear one word and you can write a yeah. whole story about yeah. it. You know, with the with the mind, the expanding mind of, of, of a writer yes. doesn't really need too much to get them going. You know, and, yeah. and what I, what I, people say to me, how do you write? I says, you know, I write one line, skip, write a few more lines, and yes. you know, fill it all in. That's the beauty and, of word and processing. And with her, like I was telling uh, uh, Brenda, is that you started this at 11 years old. So Maya, as she was growing, you were writing it from that age. That's what. That's the whole yeah, thing so about it. So is Maya it. your age? Well, the story is about <clears throat> two siblings, um, mm-hmm. Maya and Joey. Maya, I kind of made a background, so... Maya was kind of like me, and Joey was kind of like my brother. Yeah. So you could see from the beginning of the novel that I was writing at 11. Uh-huh. And you could see, as the characters grow, you could see my writing grow in it. Uh-huh. So you could see the uh-huh. development in the whole story. Okay. I mean, that's got to be almost a first. I, yeah. I, really, I really mean it. I mean, you know, writing the character at the age and being the age that you're yeah. writing the character yeah. as. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of kids, I think there's probably a fair number of kids that write things at young age but mm-hmm. that long and that many and publishing them all and you know publishing you and I both know publishing mm-hmm. is one thing promoting is a whole other thing mm-hmm. and that is what really I mean you think you know when I wrote my book and published it I thought yeah. oh great I'm going to be in bookstores you know what you don't know is you're going to be in bookstores <laughs> not necessarily your book yeah. you know what I mean and you're going to be out making the rounds at this show and that show and everywhere you can and and the only way to keep going is to keep doing that but you keep adding new material which is great so when do you write do you have like a specific time of day or well, I'm homeschooled so I'm mm-hmm. I spend more time writing okay as part of your curriculum then yes Okay, that's cool. So you get to write your books and have it count for school credit. That's good. Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, when I have, when I see other writers and I see how they're writing, mm-hmm. they usually try to, when they're writing, they usually try to develop something. Yeah. And um, instead of going forward with the story, yeah. they they keep on going back. And they get I tell stuck. Them, yeah, they right. get stuck. And I tell them they should write the whole concept and mm-hmm. the whole story and then go back and fill it in. And fill it in. That's and what we that, were talking about like better. Kind of like when you paint, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. you paint? I mean, sometimes I know you paint freestyle stuff, but if you paint something like that, like mm-hmm. a picture that's a defined house with a door or whatever, you go around and do all the outlines and then you fill in all the detail later, right? And that's kind of what she's saying. The same thing with the type right. of writing you're right. doing. You know, some paints are just go you know my my style of painting and it's just that's with why her I'm saying writing, you may that's not what, do that yeah yeah you know that's why like i keep on going back to the way she wrote from a young age and just brought, brought it up uh-huh. you know uh-huh. it's uh it shows that she had definitely the drive oh absolutely you know yeah. and the, and the foresight to see what she wanted to do you so know? you're 16 now right no i'm 15 now. oh you're 15 and i'm okay. considered the world's youngest novelist okay and it is a fact because uh-huh. we researched but, okay um so 
Starting, that's that's yeah. great. You know, I mentioned for her to call to get in touch with Lisa Rue on uh, Studio Ten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah, would be a yeah. good idea for her Absolutely. to get up there because uh-huh. Brenda and I sure. have both been on that program. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. nice people. Yeah. 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 I had a signing um, at the Blue Martini Tampa, and um, they, I kind of had a small interview with the Channel Ten. Oh, so good for you. I think I know okay. her, but yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. No, so you might be talking about Jerome. What was his name? Uh, Jerome. Uh, I forget his last name. Yeah. Uh, so, so you've been writing then four years, right? Yes. And you uh, you you write as a part of pretty much every day, year round, or just school time? Do you ever yes. take like a break? Well, I'm homeschooled, and so I write a lot. I try to keep it a little bit balanced because balance keeps it, you know. Mm-hmm. And what good. do you mean by that? You try to keep it balanced. Like, Sometimes you're writing a lot, a lot, then you get really tired and stressed. Right. You have no more ideas right. coming to you. Right. So I try to, you know, try yeah. to get some free time in because I'm a te- teenager. So uh-huh. I get a lot of temptations to, like, go out with friends and stuff. Uh-huh. But um, I try to keep it balanced. You're not depriving yourself of your youth. Don't, don't, don't do She's that. She's not. She's you know, not. Good. That's what writing, I mean. You know. Writing takes a lot of patience. Oh, yes. tell me about it. And, yeah, uh, yeah. So, it does. It really does. Do you have any other things that occupy your time? Like, you know, do you do any kind of artwork or music? Because well, uh, I know mom, your mother's yeah, an, my mom's artist, an artist and your father was a writer. I was asking you how, you know, asking a father, well, the, you know, were you a writer? He says, no, I don't write. I don't write because my English is no not too good. Well, my mother's English is still not too good. <laughs> I says, don't worry. Type it in the computer. It all comes out American. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I finally got it out of him that he did write when he was a young boy. Well, absolutely. Younger in in uh, Europe. So. Yeah, so it does. Absolutely. It does yeah. Oh, absolutely. Down into the sure. Sure. So you, so you haven't been to Europe yet. Is your goal no, to take your books over to Europe well, and do some signings I, over I there? I think when the books come out more and more people know about it, I think that mm-hmm. more people will, I will have, be invited to more book signings. So yes. I'll be traveling a lot more. So yeah. what, what you want to do is get out there and just you know, get out on the circuit. And so starting here, tell us, what is the book about? Yeah, tell so us this about gives it. a quick well, synopsis about have, the book itself. I have three books. So. Okay. I know, but this is the one that's out, and you got another one coming yes. out in the, the spring, book right? Is, is yeah, no, the f- second book is coming out, so it will be published. But, out, but the third book will be pu- printed out in spring. Okay, okay. but they're all about the same characters, right? Yes, it's, it's like a, a continuation serial? of okay. the story right. about the two siblings going okay. to different is it, adventures. Are, is it like in the future, or uh, pro- probably right in the future, or is it? It's right now. Well, the Current land of Maradonia is more. It's it's difficult to explain, but it's sometimes advanced in some ways, uh-huh. but more um, more like they use swords, so they're more of the. So is it time. like medieval type of thing, or yeah? Oh, it's almost well, like um, you know the space people and they go out there and they have swords. Uh, it doesn't make any difference as long as it kind of fits into the story. Yeah, I would so imagine swords or lasers. Yeah, yeah, read, read yeah a little. Tell sure. us. Well, the Maradonia saga starts with two teenage siblings, Maya and Joey, who find a mysterious place in a forbidden area which opens a portal into the land of Maradonia. Their arrival in Maradonia fulfills a prophecy and launches two ordinary kids into an extraordinary adventure of epic proportions. Their simple life changes completely and the fate of an entire empire falls into their hands. Maradonia is a technicolor, vibrant land filled with danger and surprises around every corner. Readers can journey with Maya and Joey as they encounter strange new creatures that help them try to conquer the seven bridges of tests and temptations, all of which are necessary if they are to to defeat King Apollyon and the Empire of Evil. Along the way, mystery, murder, deceit, revenge, crime and conspiracy battle with the power of faith, knowledge and wisdom to keep the reader on the edge of their seat. The Maradonia Saga is a classic tale of good versus evil with a contemporary twist and will thrill readers with all ages. That's great. I have a question for you. The seven bridges, are each one of those bridges dealt with in one of the books? Well, So is it like the first book is one bridge, second book? No. no? The first okay. book is Maradonia and the seven bridges. Oh, all right. So okay. there's seven bridges. and So they go over all of those in that yes, one book. Yes, and okay. there are the seven bridges of tests and temptations. Mm-hmm. So... If you if you can see the cover on Maradonia.com, you could see that half of it is it's good and it looks like something you would be tempted by, but in reality it's the other half and it's it's the evil side. Okay. So that's how do you spell who Maradonia? Did the, uh, who did the illustrations? 
Well, my mother, she's an artist, so she does the illustrations. Yeah, I just wanted to give her a shot, yeah. you know, good for her. And, and uh, how do you spell Maradonia? So if people, is it M-A-R-A-D-O-N-I-A? M-A-R-A-D-O-N-I-A. Okay, dot com. Okay. So people can go there and see that, and they can also yes. get information about you a little bit or no? Yes. Uh -huh. Also, um, did you know that Maradonia will be a Maradonia Adventure Park one day? Oh, mm -hmm. now that's that's Is that what you have planned? That's I have a concept for nine different novels. So <laughs> it will be it will be Gotta more than it. just three books. Uh -huh. But the Maradonia Adventure Park, we're planning it to be a, bit, a little bit north of Tampa. Mm -hmm. yeah. So around the Wikiwachi area. Okay. Uh huh. So cool. That's this, great. This, this, it's still in the first part of the development. So sure. I can't tell the details. No, no. Oh, what a great yeah. 15, you said? That's yeah, a great idea. That's a great Jeez, when idea. I was 15, I was still running from the cops and playing oh, stickball. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> <You know? laughs> she, has, uh, she has something, too, that's very important. It's not only important to have a dream and to have a great imagination mm -hmm. and the time and the energy and the persistence to nurture that imagination, but to have parents who are totally supportive. Because oh, you course, need yeah, that. At yeah, 15 right. especially, yes. you can't go out and do this stuff if you don't have family in yeah. well, well, my family the father out my there. support team. My yeah. family's in my support team. Absolutely. My, my brother gives many ideas. My uh -huh. mom gives... So it's a family. Yeah, yeah that's it's a right. family for now. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's great. I yep. asked the father out there. I says, are that's you her really agent? That's, that's really key. Well, he is kind of her agent, No, no. So he, he says, yeah. no, I'm her taxi driver. I'm a chauffeur. <laughs> you know, I said, okay. <laughs> He's got it all. Yeah, he does. But but it's really true. And, and for people out there who might be listening, who want their children to have this kind of thing, you got to realize, as much as parents... You know, some parents compulsively drive their kids to at 4 a.m. to play ice hockey or soccer no. or whatever. This is what they're doing with her, and the, the hours are a lot better because they don't have to get up and on the road and go all over the place at these hours until you get to book shows. Yeah, but, but, but it's really important that the parents are key, key in making well, making it available for her to have the success. Oh, yeah, sure. Being homeschooled and everything, it's almost mm -hmm. like a Mozart. Uh -huh, Mozart uh -huh. was like nine years old when he wrote his first sonata or his first uh, whatever it was, you yes. know? So you yes. get somebody, and the only way you got to go is is up. Yep. Mm -hmm. You that's know? Right. Well, yeah. that's wonderful. So you have nine ideas or nine, nine book uh, premises. for nine uh -huh. different books. Okay. And then is it, are they all going to be Maradonia? Yes, all okay. Maradonia. Do you that's ever plan to write idea. anything other than Maradonia? Oh, uh, well, I like, I keep in with the same subject, Maradonia, okay. and okay. It's because it has a lot of story. Okay, so yeah. after, it's it's 20 years from now, or 15 years from now, mm -hmm. and you're, jeez, yeah. wow, <laughs> she's 30, <laughs> oh my God, okay, so, <laughs> so she does, she can still walk, doesn't have arthritis in her knees, everything's great, That's right. and you're done with Maradonia. So you wake up one morning, and what do you, are, what are you going to do for chapter two? Oh, uh, maybe of your yeah. life. I mean, you know, I'll whatever see what happens. life brings me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever yeah. happens, then happens. at fifteen years old to have, like I, I said, you know, the drive to do this, to think yep. about a theme park, to think about nine ideas. There's That's not right. much that she has to do except just be herself. Yeah, and just keep writing. That's, that's right. the thing. Mm -hmm. And thank God for computers. They really do make it oh, easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very much. Yeah, you, that's one thing you have missed, my dear, is the experience of, <laughs> of writing on yellow legal pen and <laughs> or pencil. typing yeah. and throwing it away yeah, that's piles right. of paper oh, all I over the place. I never threw anything away. Oh, I started well, writing. I do some handwriting. I mean, do you really? They, they encourage me to do handwriting because it will be more valuable in the mm -hmm. future. That's right. Oh, that's but true. But I like working with the typing. I'm yeah, oh, yeah. The handwriting oh, yeah. is good because believe it or not, you can get something out of handwriting that you can't get out of a computer. Yes. I don't know what it is. Mine's but, you know. Mine, you need a Rosetta Stone to see it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Says hieroglyphics, definitely. Well, well, listen, it was great to see you, Gloria. Your you. website again is maradonia.com. M A R A D O N I A. Okay. Dot com. And. Uh, you're going to keep writing and yeah. writing and writing. And where can people see you? Are you going to be making any appearances anytime soon that you know of? Well, not that I know of. You mm -hmm. can find the updates on Maradonia.com. Okay. And but I'm sure with the holidays to, She has out. something to say. Yeah, yeah I want to encourage reader, um, writers and readers from all over the place that reading really plays a role in your Absolutely. in your life. Mm -hmm. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. That's oh, right. That's real good. That's a great slogan. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So, so well, we're going to have you back on again. 
Oh, whenever you well, invite you me know, again. Yeah, I was yeah. like, well, well, maybe I mean, in the spring great. when your next book is coming yes, out or something like that. Yeah, my third book, Maragonia. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Okay. That'd be great. You come yeah, back, we'll so talk keep about in touch. That. Now you know where we are and stuff like that. All right. So, Thank sounds you, good. Well, it was Brenda. nice to <laughs> see you again and nice to meet your dad there behind the window. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll be in touch or let me know what's going on and yeah. maybe in the spring we'll get you on again. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Gloria. Say hi to your mom, all right? All right. And we'll be right back after this with the message from David Kemmler.